Hello fellow harmonica players, I'm Juraj Schweigert and I thought it might be time for another harmonica lesson. And today it will be a very quiet lesson, I would say barely audible and we'll be producing very little sound. Uh, I'll show you an exercise how, how, how you can improve your breathing and uh, tone and I practice this way too. It's, uh, it's a very good uh, exercise if you don't know what what to practice. I mean, you can do it anytime. It always helps you. And I pick, picked this exercise from sax players um, who do this too, and I'm pretty sure other other musicians and harmonic players also practice this way, even though they should because it's very rewarding. So what we will be doing, we'll be playing long notes. Um, by long, I mean uh, a note uh, per 4 beats, 8 beats, 16 beats, it's up to you. Um, and we will be playing that at a very low volume, so minimum volume you can produce. Uh, so we'll be aiming for making the read respond and make sound at the minimum volume. The idea is you will not be blowing or sucking, you will be breathing and really stabilizing your tone making steady fluent and you know so the so the tone production will improve uh, also uh, the dynamics i mean if, if you can play it at low volume you sure can do it at you know high volume so that's the idea what you need is a metronome and a harmonica. We'll be playing long notes as quiet as possible. So not only will you improve your breathing but also your family will really appreciate this exercise and, and you, the skills you develop but, uh, in this way. So um, I have a metronome set on 60 BPM and first we'll play four beats you can start anywhere, so let's say I'll start on hole number four. Alright, I think you get it. Perhaps you... I don't know. Can you hear it? Well, it was there anyway. So, the aim is to really make the make the read sound. No. Or respond. Uh, you can set, set up a much slower tempo. Which will be more difficult, but more benefic beneficial for you as well. Um, Okay, let's do every second beat. Okay, the aim again is is to keep your keep the tone stable, solid, uh, without breaking. If you're running out of air, um, the tone will break. You'll hear like a kind of vibrato thing. So it also helps to extend the capacity of, of your lungs. So you can imagine uh, if you're if you're running out of breath, you can imagine yourself as if uh, you can virtually imagine in your head how your how your chest is spreading. So that's that's what I do. How I practiced uh, my breathing skills. Uh, all right. The next step will be doing bends. In so this will be really difficult. And to be accurate and stay in tune, uh, let's use chromatic tuner. So let's make it more challenging. It will be difficult at this low volume to stay in tune. It might be difficult. So let's do second whole um, whole step. So on G harp, there will be C.
okay let's do half step it's more more difficult so maybe I can't do it um, as stable as this uh, at this low volume I need to play it a little bit louder Okay, you can try overblows and uh, overdraws if you feel like that, so I don't know. Ooh. So have fun. Practicing doing this little exercise is really challenging and rewarding.